welcome back to Why in the Morning. Special thanks to Alex for that informative and amazing interview. Uh, we appreciate uh, the guys who come to Why in the Morning so much and the innovators in this country. So right about now, we have another one who's a graduate from the uh, from Kenyatta University. Uh, is a graduate of electrical and electronic engineering, but he started his, he started his own business in software development. He goes by the name Isaac Karibusana. Sante Sana. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I read about you, and I was really looking forward to meeting you, Isaac. So, but before we talk about everything, your camera is number four. Okay. Uh, just introduce yourself in case you missed anything. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, my name is Isaac. Mm -hmm. Isaac Nyabuto. Mm -hmm. I'm a techpreneur. Mm -hmm. I'm also an engineer. Mm -hmm. I graduate from Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. I graduated last year in 2018. And mm -hmm. right now, I'm doing a tech business. I'm mm -hmm. in the tech business. Mm -hmm. I'm a software developer. Mm -hmm. I've developed many software for companies, mm -hmm. for both small and big companies. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm glad to be here today. Karibu sana, Isaac. Yeah, thank you. And uh, that was quite a brave move, uh, deciding to, op uh, to, run, to open and run your own business uh, in, in software, which is not so common around here. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's relatively present or out there, but not so many people are starting businesses in this world. Yeah. All right, so yeah. I, I'd like to take you back to, to college. You're studying electrical and electronic engineering. Yes, yes. All right, uh, traditionally, software development is part of this, uh, this course as a whole. Yeah, sure, mm -hmm. sure. You know, when we were in second year, we were introduced to programming uh -huh. in, in our second year. Uh -huh. So, but it was not that intense. Uh -huh. So I took the initiative uh -huh. to learn software development on mm -hmm. YouTube on myself. Mm -hmm. I was inspired by the videos I was watching online, mm -hmm. uh, entrepreneurship videos, mm -hmm. such as the Shark Tank mm -hmm. show. Uh -huh. I'm sure you know about the uh, show. Yeah, I've watched Shark Tank. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh -huh. so uh, that's what inspired me mm -hmm. to learn software development. Mm -hmm. And later on, when I was in a... Uh, my third year, second semester, mm -hmm. I made a project mm -hmm. and I took it to the Chandaria Business mm -hmm. Center. Mm -hmm. There's a, an innovation center in KU, mm -hmm. Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, unfortunately, the project was rejected. Mm -hmm. that wo that's what gave me an inspiration mm -hmm. that I myself, I can be able to uh, put these projects which I, I make mm -hmm. out there to the world. All right. So Bring uh, them to life. Yeah, bring them to life. All right, yeah. what was your project about, the one that was rejected? So I made uh, an automated system mm -hmm. whereby when, uh, you, let's, let's say in high school, mm -hmm. when a teacher enters marks online mm -hmm. uh, on, on, on the database, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, there is an automatic system mm -hmm. that detects that marks have been entered online mm -hmm. and sends an automatic message mm -hmm. to the parents mm -hmm. so that they can be able to monitor mm -hmm. the everyday performance mm -hmm. of their children. From assignments... To yeah. cuts yeah. to the main examination. Yeah, everything Monitor that happens uh, across. Not just wait for the reports yeah. uh, at the end of the term. Yeah, even so even even co-curricular activities uh -huh. can be recorded. Uh -huh. They can monitor them from their from home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I I took that project to the Chandaria Innovation Center. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, at that moment, we didn't have much content mm -hmm. on that project. Mm -hmm. And it was rejected. Mm -hmm. But later on, after registering my company, mm -hmm. I, 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 I made that project better mm -hmm. and commercialized it. In what fact, is the name of the company right now? Uh, my company is called the City Cloud Company. The City Cloud Company. Yeah. All right. Uh, cloud, yeah. I can tell, because yeah. <laughs> it, it, it involves a lot of uh, uh, software yeah, sure. stuff and programming. You need the cloud, obviously, yeah. to support these systems. Uh, why City? Uh, actually, uh, I can say most of my inspiration comes from the shows which I watch. Uh -huh. So uh, there was a, a certain show, a uh -huh. certain tech show which I was watching, uh -huh. and there was this uh, billionaire entrepreneur uh -huh. who had a company called City Capital. Uh -huh. City Capital. Uh -huh. So I, I, I figured out and then decided to name mine City Cloud. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, so, so uh, it was just an and inspiration. And it really well. There, there's, there's, there's the yeah. C, C, CT in yes. cloud. Yes. Both have the Cs. Yeah. And uh, it will give the graphic designer easy time designing the logo. Sure. Yeah, sure, sure, <laughs> sure. In fact, right. in fact, you can check our website online. Uh -huh. yeah, Just share with them the website so they can check it out while we have uh, this conversation. Okay. Uh, if, you, you, if you want to check our website online, you can go to www.citycloudtech.com. Uh -huh. We have a lot of stuff there. We, we even have uh, uh, free games for kids. Uh -huh. You can go there and download free games for your kids. Mm -hmm. You can go there and download free templates for your websites. Mm -hmm. You can go there and order software for your companies. Mm -hmm. And you can go there and also learn code for free. We mm -hmm. teach code for free. Mm -hmm. It's our way of giving back to the community. To the, uh -huh. Yeah, so we inspire young people who mm -hmm. want to become programmers, mm -hmm. we uh, teach them code for free online, mm -hmm. we guide them, and when they have uh, problems in learning code, we give them, uh, we, we get them every time. All right. They, they ask for our solutions, yeah. I feel that. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. There's always, I've, I've seen kids learn programming, I've seen from, from five-year-old kids programming yeah. uh, to, to, to very senior people. Uh, so I want to ask, what is the right age to start learning programming? I'll ask, is it, is that something like it's too late to learn programming for somebody? It's never too late. Mm -hmm. As long as you have the passion to learn programming, mm -hmm. everything is possible. Mm -hmm. uh, like me, I started learning programming when I was in, a, in, in my Form 2. Uh -huh. When I was in Form 2, when I was introduced to computer, uh -huh. then I started, that's when I started learning programming. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, later on, then I, I can say right now mm -hmm. I've become perfect as a result of the practice which I've been doing all those years. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's never too late to start learning. Mm -hmm. You can start at, at any age, mm -hmm. and you can you can become as good as someone who started a long time ago. All right. Yeah. So it's all upon you and your dedication. Yeah, as long as you have the passion mm -hmm. to do it. All right. Everything is possible. So uh, as a, as a trained electrical and electronic engineer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you still practice? Yeah, I have the certificate. Uh -huh. You have the <laughs> certificate, which leads to our next question. Yeah. Uh, so many people that I've had on this show uh, end up practicing what they didn't study in school. Yeah. What what is what do you attribute th to this? Because it's very common in Kenya as we speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I I can say in my case. Let me start from my case. In my case, it's all of uh, they they both. Uh, technology mm -hmm. based uh, yeah, cool, practices. Uh, practices yeah. yeah, because cool. it's uh, electrical engineering uh -huh. has a uh, part of programming in it. Uh -huh. So I cannot say that I have diverged from the uh -huh. my main course. Mm -hmm. But uh, for other cases, mm -hmm. other people, mm -hmm. most of the people discover their passion late. Mm -hmm. You can go through four years learning something which you're not passionate ab about. Mm -hmm. And because your parents push you to mm -hmm. learn that thing, you just finish, give them the certificates, mm -hmm. and then go back to your passion. What is the solution to this? Uh, so I think the new system which the government has come up with mm -hmm. uh, is a solution, is one of the solutions it's to this problem. It's a step in the right direction, yeah? Yeah, because it, it inspires someone to become what they're passionate about. Mm -hmm. It starts from early. Mm -hmm. It starts uh, making you what you want, you want to become All right. from an early age. All right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, in a business like yours, yeah. uh, how much investment do I need to, to, to start for start? You just need your brain. You just need your brain. Yeah, because and it's, a computer, a, it's all about software. <laughs> so you just buy a computer, mm -hmm. you, have, you get the passion. You, you must have the passion, you know. Uh -huh. You know, you cannot sit behind a computer. Mm -hmm. Uh, many hours a day, uh -huh. uh, writing just writing code, uh -huh. and you're not passionate about it. You, you have must have the first. passion. So the passion is number one. The passion. Number two is a computer. There must be compu you must have the computer, of course. Uh, and then number three is your brain. Your brain. You need to exercise it as always. Yeah. You need to sharpen it, yeah. and you need to load it with a lot of knowledge. Yeah, and you must work hard. All you right. know, you know, uh, it's there's a lo there's a lot of work when mm -hmm. developing a software. Mm -hmm. Uh, you must do a lot of research. Mm -hmm. So you must be ready to work very hard. Mm -hmm. And yeah. have some sleepless nights as well. Of course. That yeah. is what it takes yeah. to be a coder yeah. out there. All right. Uh, another thing uh, that is happening in the current mar market is that uh, we are seeing a lot of startups yeah. uh, failing yeah. or crashing Unfortunately, yeah. before even their second birthday. Yeah. All right. Uh, how old is your company? 
my company, I started in 2015. 2015? Yeah, when I was in third year. Uh -huh. So it, it's like roughly now almost four years. Almost, almost four years. Yeah. So you've, uh, you've broken the curse of startups. Uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> fortunately, I can say You've so. broken the curse of startups. Yeah. All right, so you're four years into this. Uh, what are some of the things you've learned uh, as, a, as a business owner or as a, as a, as a, as a startup or as a tech uh, techpreneur? Uh, when you want to be an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you should not have a faint heart. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many challenges in entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. you, can, uh, you, can, you can start with a big morale, mm -hmm. then because of the many challenges which mm -hmm. you face, sometimes you tend to have that uh, mo motive, you, you start developing the motive to give up. Uh -huh. uh, but you must inspire yourself. Mm -hmm. Always. Because, because there are so many difficulties from financial difficulties, mm -hmm. uh, some government regulations, mm -hmm. sometimes they do not favor the small businesses. Mm -hmm. So it's all about uh, the power to persist mm -hmm. and believe in yourself, believe in your dream, mm -hmm. persist and fight hard. That's and how you make it to four years. Yeah, because it's, it, it has been four years now. Persistence uh, yeah. and hard work for sure. Yeah, sure. Be sure to check the website for uh, software solutions. Uh, we are going to be sharing the website with you in a few. So you have developed systems for for different fields, yeah. uh, diverse uh, number of fields, uh, from hospitality to schools to hospitals. I'd like to talk about the system that you developed for uh, for for a hospital. Yeah. Yeah. This one in particular. What is it about? Yeah, we have a hospital uh, system. Mm -hmm. Uh, the hospital system basically has all the, uh, the components of a hospital, mm -hmm. all the activities that happen in a hospital environment. So we have captured all the activities that happen there, and we have made everything automated. We have made everything easy from booking, getting into the hospital, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, requesting for medicine, mm -hmm. uh, requesting for a doctor. Mm -hmm. You can even request for a doctor online. Mm -hmm. And we have, there are so many components in that system mm -hmm. that make the hospital industry mm -hmm. to work in a seamless way. In a seamless way. Yeah. All right, so I'm trying to imagine this system right here, is it uh, custom made or is it a general system like, like say, Facebook? where all doctors can come in, all hospitals can come in, or is it customized? This one is for this particular hospital. Uh, they have their patients and patients can be monitored from the system. Yeah, so for, for our company, mm -hmm. our policies, we develop our prototype. Mm -hmm. We have a prototype mm -hmm. system. And when uh, a certain hospital requests for our product, mm -hmm. we, they, come with their own, uh, they come with their own requirements. Mm -hmm. Then from there, we can be able to customize our ah, prototype to, their to fit their needs. All yeah. right. Yeah. So you, don't only, you, you not only have uh, one hospital as a client, but you... We have, so far we have four hospitals. As clients. But, uh, but most of them are back in the village. Back in the village. Yeah. And this is how startups uh, become uh, prominent. Yeah. You work with... Uh, you start from the grassroots. You start from the then grassroots. Then you come upwards. All right. Yeah. And you learn in the process. Yeah. I'd like to know about the system that you've developed uh, for the schools. Yeah, the school management system. Mm -hmm. That is the one we yeah. were talking about. Before. Yeah, it's f in fact, it's called the smart school management system. Smart school management system. Yeah. All right. So when I, when I developed this system, mm -hmm. <coughs> my first, uh, the decision which I made first was to, to donate it to my, uh, to my village school, mm -hmm. where I learned my primary school. Mm -hmm. So I gave, this, I gave them the system for free mm -hmm. for testing. I tested it there, mm -hmm. and I, it worked very well. Mm -hmm. That's when I commercialized it from mm -hmm. there. So I started by giving back to my school where uh -huh. I learned uh -huh. in my primary school. Uh -huh. So from there, I can say that we have sold like uh, 10 units of the system. 10 units of the system? Yeah, so from, 2015, from 2016. That's when we developed this system. Does it have a fixed price or every custom-made system <laughs> has its own... It, it, depends, it depends on the requirements. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some schools which uh, require many uh, uh, properties, many factors to be put on the system. Mm -hmm. uh, it all depends on the individual clients. All but right. there is a minimum pay for, the, for it. I'd like to focus on the creative process now, uh, where the ideas flow and ideas come. Uh, how many are you in the organization so far, by the way? So far, we are four. You are four yeah, guys. Two, two developers. Uh -huh. We have a secretary uh -huh. and we have a media guy who media markets guy. our company. But we also have uh, affiliates uh -huh. because we also do architectural designs. Uh -huh. So we have 
guys who are professionals in that field. Mm -hmm. So when we get clients who, who want architectural designs, mm -hmm. that's when we call our affiliates right. to do the designs for us. So it's a support yeah. system. Yeah. And this is an ecosystem uh, where startups thrive yeah. when you work together. You work together. Mm -hmm. You must find affiliates mm -hmm. because you cannot be able to employ like 20 people at a go. Mm -hmm. So you it's must. Expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. So when, uh, let's say you advertise yourself in your website, you advertise what you can do. Mm -hmm. Then when you get clients, you can be able to outsource the jobs to mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. Then in that way, you will be able to develop. Wonderful. Yeah. Take me through the creative process before you guys decide, all right, we are going to develop uh, something that is going to make uh, work <coughs> or teachers work easier. Yeah. How is it like? Do you guys sit down and say, all right, let's come up with something today or how does it, how does it work? I can say it's a continuous process. Mm -hmm. Because every day uh, I, I analyze the things which I go through life, then I look at them from the technology perspective. Mm -hmm. From how, what system can I develop to make this easier? Even when I, I came here, I looked at the systems here. Then I there are some ideas which I got, uh, mm -hmm. which we can develop to make uh, things to learn more seamlessly. Right, than so they it are. starts with the problem. Yeah. Uh, you identify the problem, yeah. uh, try to come up with a solution, yeah. and then uh, technify. <laughs> then you implement. <laughs> you, you implement yeah, it. Yeah, you uh, where you bring in technology yeah. into it. Mm. And this is a continuous process. It happens every day. Yeah. There are systems yeah. that never come to life. The systems that will come to life. Mm. And there are systems you're still holding for a moment now. Yeah, you, yeah, you, must, you must also be ready to learn from mm -hmm. other people. Yeah. All right, is this the site we're talking about? Yeah. This is the site we're talking about. Yeah, this da these are sites, mm -hmm. the City Cloud Company sites, uh -huh. our official websites. Mm -hmm. uh, Just all the mics did here? These are official websites. It has all the products which we sell mm -hmm. and the, our recent uh, projects mm -hmm. which we have done. Mm -hmm. And you can see there, mm -hmm. it, uh, it is tel telling the users, uh, for those who want to learn code, mm -hmm. they can register. Mm -hmm. There's a button there. Mm -hmm. They can register and we teach them code on mm -hmm. online free, for mm -hmm. free. We do it for free. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things which we do from mm -hmm. software development, mobile applications. Mm -hmm. those are, that's our mission and vision. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so those are uh, All what the we information do. is on the website. Yeah. So say I need, uh, I need services from you guys. Uh, when I get to the website, mm. what do I do? I get the phone number and call you. Yeah? Uh, we have uh, we have automated the, uh, the website in a way that you can be able to request for service on mm -hmm. the website. Mm -hmm. But alternatively, if you want to call us, mm -hmm. you can always contact us. We if are you feel it's urgent. Yeah, if you feel it's urgent, you mm -hmm. can contact us. You can always contact. Yeah, but sure. everything is on the website. Yeah, everything right, is so on the website. Yeah. Things that we can get from the website. Number one, uh, the most interesting uh, one for me is that you're giving back to the community. Yeah. People can learn coding. Yeah, yeah. yeah free, right. For uh, free. Anybody can learn coding on their site? Anybody uh, who can read it right? Anybody who has a passion. Anybody you know, who has a passion. It's all about passion. You're yeah. insisting on the passion aspect. Yeah, because I know, you know, uh, most of the people who start uh, learning coding, they give up on the way mm -hmm. because they do not have a passion. You know, it's a lot of stuff you uh -huh. do, so you must have the passion to mm -hmm. learn. Because it's a lot of stress along the way. It's very engaging. All right. Yeah. It's very engaging. Yeah. And uh, it brings about a lot of gray hair. Yeah. As well. Yeah, sure. All right. I like. Uh, so uh, we have had this conversation uh, for a while in this country where we see the government is trying to build uh, a tech city like Silicon yes. Valley, the one we have in the U.S. Mm. Uh, so uh, the government has been trying to develop this city. I think it's Tattoo City, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> What do you think is, uh, is this practical? It's very practical, mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh, technology is all, all about what's in the mind. Mm -hmm. When we talk about the government wanting to develop a Silicon Valley mm -hmm. city, Mm -hmm. it's, on, it's not all about the buildings you see in the U.S. Uh -huh. It's all about do we have the brain capacity. Uh -huh. <laughs> For example, uh, from where we are located mm -hmm. at Kilimani, uh -huh. Uh, we have so many tech, tech companies, mm -hmm. our competitors. Uh -huh. uh, these guys are very smart. Mm -hmm. They have come up with so many innovations. Mm -hmm. They can do things just as well as those uh, tech, tech, tech people in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have the, as long as we have the sp brain smartness mm -hmm. and we have the capacity mm -hmm. to develop this idea, to make, to make it practical for a country. So it's a step uh, towards the right direction as well? Yeah, sure. So and, uh, and, 
And invest in the brains, invest in the minds, as much as we are investing in the buildings and the infrastructure. Yeah, in fact, I would like a situation whereby uh, the government organizes conferences, tech conferences, like for, hi for high schools. Mm -hmm. uh, for, when you know, we have the science congresses. Mm -hmm. Uh, most of them do not focus on uh, computers and tech. Mm -hmm. So uh, the government should focus on computers and tech as programming. As early as high school. Yeah, as early as high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can start even from class 8, mm -hmm. the, the, as early as you can. Yeah, the right. yeah. I like. So uh, the, uh, Kenya is, is ranked number four uh, in Africa, uh, internet presence. Yeah. Uh, this is a good thing or a bad thing for us. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. But but you know we cannot be only consumers of technology. Uh -huh. We must be the innovators of technology. Yeah, as well. the innovators of technology. Yeah. All right. Uh, but this makes it uh, conducive for an innovator in Kenya because if we have uh, online presence like this, mm. it means your product can be consumed. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, uh, Kenya is one of the countries where software developers can be able to uh, develop themselves real fast because real fast. we have the consumers who are ready. We yeah. have people who uh, can access the internet very fast. Mm -hmm. People have smartphones even mm -hmm. back in the villages. Mm -hmm. So when you create a product and put it online, you are sure that you're going to have that audience. There are people who are going to check out your product mm -hmm. and there's a probability that you're going to get customers. All right, wonderful. Yeah. All these worldwide sites that are used across uh, the world like Google and Facebook and the rest of them, they have some. They have one thing in common, yeah. They are all based in in America somewhere. Yeah. Uh, do you think there's a day we were, we might see a Kenyan site having that worldwide consumption or worldwide presence or worldwide uh, subscriptions? Yeah, I think uh, in the future there's going to be such kind of a system. Mm -hmm. As much as these uh, big companies have dominated the market. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are going to have, so we start from Africa, mm -hmm. we can develop a system which can dominate Africa. Mm -hmm. We can, we start from our own, we can start from mm -hmm. our own We start continent. with our own continent. Yeah, Before when we, we dominate we Africa, mm -hmm. then we can be able to conquer the, right. the rest of the world. To so solve an African problem, yeah. and probably it's going to be a world problem, and we are going to solve it. Yeah. Uh, please remind them your website again uh, as okay. we proceed. Okay, for, uh, you can check out my we our website, our mm -hmm. company website, www.citycloudtech.com. Mm -hmm. From there, you can be able to check our products. You can be able to learn code online. Mm -hmm. And you can be able to reach us. If you want to call us, you can call us. Then we'll be able to solve your tech problems. All right, it's time for our question of the day, and this is the question we posted on Facebook. It falls right in place because I know for a startup uh, or a business, you have goals, yes. and uh, they're timed goals, obviously. So where do you see yourself in the next five years? That is a question on Facebook, and if you're watching us from home, also you're free to answer. Yeah. So, uh, okay, in the next five years, mm -hmm. Uh, you just talked about developing a, a product uh -huh. which can be which is consumed by the, uh, the by whole the world. world yes uh -huh. yeah we I think I see my company in that position uh -huh. we will have uh, pr produced a product that will have such kind of a, a usability mm -hmm. in the whole world mm -hmm. so that's why I want to see my company and uh -huh. I would like to see my company sell more and more of our products. Mm -hmm. And to be able to develop in a way that we can be able to create employment mm -hmm. for more and more people. Mm -hmm. Because uh, employment is becoming a problem in this company. Mm -hmm. yeah, most of my friends who we graduated with mm -hmm. are complaining every day about employment. Mm -hmm. So when I, I solve a problem even for one person, mm -hmm. I think that that will be uh, an, mm -hmm. uh, an addition to our company. Mm -hmm. That's a positive uh, uh -huh. way. I'll, yeah. That's a plus yes. for the country and your company as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, the goal is to have that worldwide presence, yeah. compete uh, globally, and another goal is to 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 provide employment for Kenyan youth. Yeah. yeah. In five years' time. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, for coming through to Wine in the Morning. Thank you for ho hosting me. Yes, we appreciate you, Mr. City, uh, the City, City Cloud, City company. Cloud, City yeah. Cloud company. Uh, the, uh, the CEO and founder of City Cloud Company yes. is here with us, Mr. Isaac, graduate from Kenyatta University, but he runs his own thing. Uh, please check out citycloud.com. Uh, www.ctcloudtech.com. Check them out uh, to learn some coding, uh, to request for their services, or just 
do whatever. If you're interested in tech and you'd like to get some help or you'd like to help develop something, head straight to their website so you guys can communicate about that. We still have a lot lined up for you on this particular Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Don't go nowhere. Don't type that down.